oak style osaboka marinated in coffee that might sound strange but it's gonna be good Season to taste. You gotta get into cooking with wine. Okay, we're gonna let it come to a boil, then set the oven temperature at 375. It will be going in the oven for 45 minutes. Now we're going to transition this to the oven. Got to get a Jamaican pimento involved. As I said, we do fusion food. Notice my pot of choice is always a cast iron skillet. I bake in it, I cook in it, fry in it, do everything in it. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes rest for 10 minutes the juice will go back in the meat at that time and then we go from there that's the sauce simmer let it simmer this is gonna be an awesome dish I know you guys might be wondering, why is this man putting the pasta in cold water? You don't have to put pasta in, in hot water. By the time it starts boiling, the pasta will be cooked. This is why we do it this way. That's olden style. 
of boiling the water before you put the pasta or anything in it. The hotter the water gets, you're going to see the pasta sliding down into the pot. That's how it works. See? Sliding down. As the water gets hotter, they're moving down in the water. Fully immersed. See? It's almost ready. So again, you don't have to waste time to boil the water to put the pasta in. No this, no that. It's not sticking. Al dente. See? Al dente. It's cooked. That's ready. See? Spinach. When you make pasta, always save some of the water. So you can put it out if you decide to saute the pasta with some onion.